Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. Statistics subject already I taught, but it was in the beginning days of our channel. So in those days, uh, the video, audio quality, it was very poor. I am not satisfied. So I wanted to take it once again, entire subject, statistics 1 and 2 also. After 1, I will plan for 2. So I wanted to reshoot once again because now the audio is good and also uh, video is also good both together. It would be easy for you. Now let me talk about statistics subjects. Statistics many people are scaring, especially commerce students. Statistics means mathematics. So they have a feeling that uh, calculations and uh, max problems unable to do, we may find difficult, no nothing is like that. Even I was also from commerce background, but statistics is one of my favorite subject. I started my career in the year 1993 to teach become students statistics subject only. So this is my favorite and in student life also I used to work out wonderfully. Nothing is uh, tough, very easy, simple formulas you have to remember then automatically you can work out. Just focus and learn and do share these videos with many students and uh, they have to work out very clearly, wonderfully and without any hesitation. Remove that fear. Okay. Now coming to statistics. What is the statistics? Statistics is a part of mathematics you can say. Generally, the statistics is using by the sociologists and also social purpose, political purpose and some data and it is also for the economics point of view and also from the science point of view, various point of view we can use this statistics, especially business people, they use statistics a lot. Statistics means what? Collection of data properly and presenting the data in a proper way to everybody so that anyone can understand what it is. A layman suppose sitting in front of you, some data you have collected and you are presenting in such a way through graphs, uh, through bar diagrams, through pictures, through tables, that's it, that's the statistics. Anyone can understand, you can make them to understand also, means the presentation, collected data whatever is required to the other party present it in a such a way that everyone can understand it. So there are many uses of statistics. The main object, the main object of this statistics is that forecasting, controlling and exploring. Forecasting, future what's going to happen. Once if you know that what's going to happen in future, then controlling is easy. Once, once if you control it, automatically it comes to the exploring. So these are the main objects of statistics. Now what is the, what are the stages of statistics? How do we start the statistics? There are different stages, total stages are 5 stages. Step by step or stage wise you have to identify, you have to know what is statistics. The first stage is that collection of data. Statistics directly we do not work out problems, first of all we have to collect the data. This is much useful even for the research scholars also. When I have done my PhD at MPhil, in those days also first collection of data, then after the presentation, analysis and interpretation like all these stages I have gone through. So that is why I am saying you it is much useful even for the research scholars also. First what we are going to do collecting the proper data, collect the data, collect the data, what kind of data, whatever is required. Suppose I am doing research, I need some data, so that I am going to collect. And uh, say uh, country wise, state wise, district wise, some data is required, population they are counting it, income of the people they are counting it and uh, how many students are there in the school, how many boys are there, how many girls are there, their marks, their score and income of particular company, income of uh, particular group, so like uh, father's age, son's age. So any kind of data, something we have decided that this is we wanted to find out. This data we wanted to collect. That collection of data is important. How do you want to collect the data? Through a format. Through a format, something is prepared, then according to that you can go and collect the data. There are many ways. Personal interview, directly meeting the people or through a phone call 
through a mail in any way you have to collect the data once the co uh, collection of data is over next step comes to organization so this everything is organizing in a proper way Collect data is collected where do you put where do you keep how do you want to proceed it that is we call it as a organization once organization is over then presentation i want to present this data how do i present it in which way i wanted to present it should i present it in uh, graphs should i present it through a histogram should i present it through tables should i present it through any formulas should i calculate anything required so that's we say it as a presentation that presentation is interlinked with analysis analysis means we are going in depth analyzing the data stage wise how do you want to present different ways are there so how do you want to present that is called as analysis then after that interpretation okay we have collected the data organizing is over presentation analysis everything is over lastly it comes to the interpretation what is this interpretation interpretation means we are giving explanation we are giving explanation about what i have done what we have done so that explanation we call it as a interpretation interpretation should be in a simple and easy language so that a layman comes to you and if he wants to understand what he, what it is he must be in a position to understand in that way interpretation should be interpretation everybody cannot do even analysis also analysis and interpretation analysis interpretation both of these can be done by the experts only who have good knowledge about this statistics only those people experts especially uh, who are well versed in statistics and who have done msc statistics or bsc statistics gone depth those people those experts can go for this analysis and also interpretation okay so these are the five stages once interpretation is over means statistics that particular part whatever object is there that is over so that's about stages of statistics next we will see functions of statistics how the statistics going to work out first of all main function is the definiteness statistics whenever we calculate something whenever we present something that accuracy that 100 percent accuracy you will find it that definiteness you will find you will not find any vague information you will not find any fictitious or some other information no whatever we do we because we have collected the data through the data only we are going for organizing and analyzing interpretation all these things that is why definiteness is the one of the main function of statistics whatever we do accuracy you will find in the same way condensation the data we don't present it simply will be condensing means we are minimizing it we are minimizing and we are presenting the data in a systematic and lucid form so that anyone can understand so we are not making much struggle to others to understand we are making it very easy condensed condensed means in shortcut in a simple way in a lucid manner so in that way we are presenting the data this is also one of the main function condensation okay minimizing and in a lucid form next comparison data is collected means the data is ready to compare with anything this is also the main function say uh, data of x company i have collected data of y company also collected we can compare it how is the performance of a how is the performance of b production of a and b sales of a and b and growth of a and b profits of a and b like many areas we can compare it comparison is possible between two companies i said it can be possible with anything between two states between two uh, two districts or two cities two two countries you can go ahead there is no limit at all for this statistics you can go beyond imagination also because that kind of scope is there for statistics so second function is condensation third one is compare so com third one is comparison i spoke and fourth one is formulating and testing hypothesis formulating and testing hypothesis which can be done only by the experts only this one also 
this shows whether whatever data we have collected is it correct or not is it signifying the uh, exactly information what you have collected or not so that is called as hypothesis constructing of hypothesis then after the testing of the hypothesis so there are many tools in statistics especially kikes were t test f test so that kind of tools we use for the hypothesis construction of hypothesis so this is the fourth one and in the coming classes you will come to know then important function is prediction statistics means we have collected the data presenting the data at the same time we can predict we can forecast what's going to happen in future say we have collected the data for the last 10 years sales are like this and what would be the sales in the next year what would be the sales after 5 years what would be the performance of the company after 5 years like this prediction also possible in statistics okay so that is prediction these are the main five functions of statistics yes statistics is useful for everyone at their economics or business and mathematics point of view and social everyone they are using it but still there are few limitations what are those limitations just simple four limitations first one is that does not deal with individuals statistics means group of information lots of information we focus it's not focusing on the individual series individual item it's not focusing so this is one of the drawback and next one is that it deals only with quantitative characters only quantitative quality no not going to bother about the quality of the information it's quantity only we wanted to collect the data of 10000 people we want to collect the data of 1000 people so uh, is it having the quality or not is it possible so are the people are uh, universal so that kind of quality we are not seeing we are just focusing only on the quantitative data only next one results are true only on an average there are many tools many techniques to calculate in statistics many very many items we can calculate but only in average 100% sure others may or may not be surety is not there in other tools but only only it is true in an average only only on average it is true others there may be a lots of fluctuations may not be 100% perfect but only average is perfect this is one of the drawback and last one is that it can be misused easily it can be misused easily uh, data is collected but presentation is doing by somebody and analysis is doing by somebody and also interpretation is doing by somebody means person to person it variates and moreover if the person is not expert if the person is not expert who is using it and the person who is working for this data he can misuse he can misguide the person easily so that is why this data can be misused very easily so these are the simple drawbacks hope uh, some understanding about statistics you got it in the next classes we'll see uh, practicals tabulation and also measures of central dispersion dispersion like average mean mean median mode quartiles deciles standard deviation what not all these things will focus take a screenshot or note down stay connected my dear students and don't forget to share this videos everything is free of cost especially for you all whatever may be course you are doing somewhere a channel is useful use it and uh, develop your career and have a bright future good luck